Congratulations to Timothy. Good morning, YouTube. Cruise man here. Just getting ready to ride out for a little morning, Saturday morning ride. It's a pretty nice day. It's extremely humid. It's only about 80, 81 degrees right now and no wind. But man, have we had the humidity this year. Maybe because we've had so much rain. I don't know. But it is super humid. And that just really drains you. In fact, I was just getting ready to go out in the garage and do some painting. I was going to paint the back wall of the garage. I'm kind of doing some remodeling in Cruise Man's garage. And it was just too humid out. I was kind of soaking wet just after a few minutes. I appreciate you joining me today for one of my motor vlogs. I'm going to eventually be heading to a grocery store to do a little shopping. People walking outside at least 10 feet away from each other and they have a mask on. Somebody needs to explain that science to me again. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that today. That's a whole other motor vlog. I will get into it. But today I got some exciting things to tell you. First of all, I want to announce the winner of our Bond Body Armor contest or drawing. And we had a random drawing last Saturday or Sunday. It was on July 5th. And I am pleased to announce that Timothy Stewart from West Virginia is the winner and he has already been in contact with Kristen over at Bon Armor and they're shipping him out his new product that he selected. And he's got a very nice 2016 F6B, really nice looking white and black, just kind of a cool looking bike. So congratulations to Timothy. And I guess I should take some time to really thank Bon Armor for sponsoring that contest, that drawing. Uh, there are some runners up as well that have been contacted that will be getting some other Bon Armor gear. And we are in touch with them. But I just want to thank Bon Armor for sponsoring it. They're uh, really great supporters of Cruise Man's Garage channel. And I know that a lot of you guys out there already have Bon Armor products. If you don't, you need to check out their website at bonarmor.com. And uh, anytime, if you're one of our viewers, anytime you uh, order from Bon Armor, you can use our special code and get a discount. And I'll put that code on the screen and in the description of this video. And I'll also put a link to their website. So check it out. They've got some really great armor gear. Uh, what I like about it is really lightweight. You can wear it underneath your existing gear like your blue jeans or your existing riding jacket. And it gives you all the protection, but it's lightweight. They're, they have summer gear that's really cool in the summer, kind of a mesh gear. Uh, but it has all the armor and the protection. It's just super neat stuff. And it's all made here in the USA, which I really love, and I know you do too. So thanks again, Bon Armor. I imagine most of you by now have probably seen my uh, video on the new passenger grab rails for the 2018 and 2019 Goldwing. These are the OEM passenger grab rails that come on the 2020 Goldwing Tour. And you can, add, you can exchange or swap out your existing kind of useless, I, sh I would say, handrails that come on the 2018 or 2019 with these new handrails or grab rails. Not only are they easier for the passenger to grab a hold of, but they're really good when you go to put your bike on the center stand. So check those out at CycleMax.com. I know a lot of you... Uh, tried to order those the first day the video came out and I got an email from Gary 
uh, that he sold out within a couple of hours of the video being released. So uh, he took it off the website temporarily, but it is back up there now. He got another big order in. So um, appreciate you supporting CycleMax.com. They too are a big supporter of Cruise Man's Garage channel. Also, quick mention about our Facebook groups. We now have close to 4,000 members in our two different Facebook groups. We have a, both of these are for Goldwing maintenance. Now, one group is primarily for those of you that own a 2018 to 2020 Honda Goldwing. And I'll put that information on the screen. It doesn't cost anything to join the Facebook group. Anybody's welcome to join if you're interested in maintenance of your 2018 to 2020 Goldwing. It's a good, good place to hang out and ask questions or help others with questions. And then our other larger Facebook group is for those of you with any year model Goldwing. Wow, it scared me. A fire truck coming out. But no matter what year model Goldwing you have, you can join that group. And we've got people going all the way back to the 80s that have the older style gold wings with questions, maintenance questions. So I'll put all that information on the screen and in the description down below. And we invite you to join our Facebook groups because that's where we update you with information. And all the new stuff coming out, new videos, everything. That's where I post everything. Now, I also send out emails for those of you that are on my email list. So if you're not on my email list, <clears throat> I've got a new link. We've just started a new email list, so check that out. If you've already subscribed to my other email list, we've already transferred you over. You don't need to subscribe again. But uh, I'll put a link on the screen and in the description down below where you can sign up for our email newsletters. And of course, you can easily unsubscribe at any time. But I'll send out emails talking about tips and tricks or new videos that are coming out, contests, just all kinds of stuff. Things that I have going into my Amazon store that you can get a good deal on or any special promotions we have going. Now today, what I wanted to do is uh, go over a few emails that I've received from some of you. This is kind of the mailbag section because I've received some emails lately from some of you and I just thought I'd uh, relay that information to you. Because a couple of you had some pretty interesting things to say. I got an email from Stephen Bailey in Illinois who sent me a picture of his 2018 Goldwing tour where he had was able to get two full-size helmets. I think he said they're extra large. Two full-size helmets in the trunk. Now, I'm going to go home, and I'll try again. I'll use his technique, and I'm going to try again. I've got a large HJC IS Max 2 and a small Arai three-quarter helmet, and I have never been able to get both of those helmets in my trunk at the same time. And I've tried laying them on the side. I've tried, you know, doing them front, to front, back, every which way. Face shields open, face shields closed. But I'll try again, and I will try to replicate what Stephen did on his 2018 and see if I can get those helmets to fit. And if you've been able to get two helmets to fit in your 2018 to 2020 trunk, send me a picture. I'll put my email address in the description of the video. Send, it, send me a photo. I'd like to see it and see how you do it. Now, I got an email from Luke this week. I don't know for sure where Luke is from. But he has a 2020 Goldwing, and he was attempting to install the traction glove box lock, which I have featured and reviewed in my uh, previous videos. Apparently, because Honda did make some changes to the glove box mechanism, uh, Traction has had to make a few changes or some tweaks to their glove box lock. So if you have a 2020 Goldwing, make sure when you order your glove box lock that you let Traction know you've got a 2020, because uh, it may require something a little different. 
And then I got an email from Randy in Kansas. And Randy says he bought a Garmin Zumo XT like I have here based on my review and based on my video. And apparently he has mounted it on the dash somehow so he it's sitting right in front of him. And he's complaining about the reflectivity of the screen. He wears a yellow, kind of a safety yellow jacket like I do, and it reflects in the screen and he can't see the GPS. And it is a highly reflective screen. It's very similar to a cell phone screen. Now the way I have mine mounted, it's not a big issue because I can adjust it. I can rotate it up or down to kind of get rid of that reflection. But you know, I get reflection of my jacket in the Goldwing Dash as well. So, I can see where if you had the, the uh, GPS mounted in such a way where it's straight on, you would get that reflection. So what I suggested that he check into is there are companies that make anti-glare screen protectors for cell phones for just this purpose. And I'm thinking perhaps one of those might fit on this Garmin GPS. And so if you have a Zumo XT and you're having reflection problems, you might look into that. You might look into one of these screen protectors that are designed for cell phones that have kind of a matte or anti-glare finish. And they're primarily made for people who use their cell phone outdoors in bright conditions. I personally like the glossy, high gloss screen. I think it's easier to see, but the way I have mine mounted, the reflection's not too big a deal. Plus the screen is so bright, it kind of overcomes that. But Randy, uh, check that out. I don't know if that will help you but I'd be anxious to know if any of you have ever tried that if you've done anything to cut down on the reflective <clears throat> nature of the XT screen but I do have a couple of new things that I will be coming out with videos on soon I do have another stupid people video coming so for those of you that like the stupid people videos stay tuned maybe next week I'll have that you know I love talking about stupid people, and I have no shortage of material on that subject. So I want to take a, a moment again to thank all of you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks again to Bon Armor for supporting our giveaway. And I will see you again on the next Cruise Man's Motive Logs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.